So in this lecture, we are going to study eigenvalues and eigenvectors for uh, two by two matrices. So let us first define what is meant by an eigenvalue. So let A be a two by two matrix. Then a real number Lambda is an eigenvalue if we can find a vector which is not zero such that a v bar be equal to lambda times v bar. Okay, in this case, uh, lambda becomes the eigenvalue. And V bar is called eigenvector. So we will be given a two by two matrix and we want to find a vector V bar such that when I multiply this matrix with this vector V bar, what should happen? I must get it at the answer should be lambda times again V bar. So this is a way if I can find such a vector V bar and a lab, number lambda and that lambda is called as eigenvalue and this V bar is called as eigenvector. OK, let us see how to actually. Find such an eigenvalue and an eigenvector. So the working rule to find eigenvalue is as follows. So what I will do is given a matrix A. We find. A minus Lambda I. Okay, where Lambda is uh, any real number which we want to find. So and what is I? I is the. Identity matrix. And once we find uh, a minus lambda i, what we will do is we will then find the determinant of a minus lambda i, and that determinant we will equate to zero. Now it is uh, also one uh, optional thing that you uh, that we can even instead of finding a minus lambda i, we can also find lambda i minus a okay so i will write here a minus lambda i or lambda i minus a and in that case here i will also find determinant of what lambda i minus a and again i will equal to zero and then i will solve this polynomial and whatever the roots of this polynomial we will get those roots of that polynomial equation will be called as your eigenvalues. OK, so this is the way the working rule goes. So let us take some problems so that the entire idea will be clear. So in this lecture, we are going to stick on to only two by two matrices. So exercise. Find eigenvalues. Of. Matrix A. Which is given by one, four, two. Three, so how would I find eigenvalues? So answer I'm going according to the working rule. We will first calculate what is Lambda I minus A. It is uh, equal to lambda identity two by two matrix is one zero zero one minus a is one four two three, which is lambda zero zero lambda minus one four two three, which will be equal to lambda minus one lambda minus three. We will first write the diagonal. Other entries will have just a negative sign. 
and minus two. So this is the expression for lambda i minus a. Now we will find the determinant of this lambda i minus a and whatever that determinant will come, we will equate to zero. So what is the determinant of this matrix? It is lambda minus one into lambda minus three minus minus four into minus two is equal to zero. This will be lambda square minus three lambda minus lambda plus three minus eight is equal to zero, which is lambda square minus four lambda minus five equal to zero. So this equation in lambda, which is a quadratic equation, this equation is called characteristic equation. And we will factorize this as lambda minus five into lambda plus one is equal to zero. So the roots of that characteristic equation are lambda equal to five and lambda equal to minus one. These are called eigenvalues. I will label them lambda one and lambda two. So these are eigenvalues of A. And if you write this, these eigenvalues in a set five minus one, this set is called row of A, which is called a spectrum of A. And it is a set of all eigenvalues. Let me take one more example. Find eigenvalues a equal to one, two, three, two. So solution. We will again calculate what is lambda i minus a, and then we will find the determinant. So what is lambda i minus a in this case? It is lambda minus one, lambda minus two. Other sign numbers will have negative sign minus two, minus three, and when if equated determinant of lambda i minus a equal to zero, I will get lambda minus one into lambda minus two minus six, which is lambda square minus three lambda minus four, and that is equal to zero. This is uh, giving me lambda minus four, lambda plus one equal to zero. So this means that lambda is equal to four and lambda is equal to minus one are the eigenvalues. What is the spectrum of A? The spectrum of A is four and minus one. Okay. Now, if you observe, if I take a matrix A in general, general, if you observe, if matrix A contains the entries A, B, C, D, then lambda I minus A will become lambda minus A minus B minus C lambda minus D. And when I calculate the determinant of this particular matrix, it is lambda minus A, lambda minus D, minus BC. And when I equate it to zero, when I separate it out, I will get lambda square minus A lambda plus D lambda. Let me write it like this. Minus becomes plus AD minus BC equal to zero, and this is nothing but lambda square minus this A plus D. If I look at the original matrix, it is this, which is nothing but called as the trace of matrix plus 
this AD minus BC is nothing but the determinant of the matrix. So remember the coefficient of lambda is, is nothing but minus trace. What is trace? Trace is the sum of the diagonal elements and determinant is determinant of the above matrix is what? AD minus BC. Okay, so this is one of the quickest way that one can actually calculate the uh, characteristic polynomial uh, as, as soon as we get the matrix. Okay, so for an X, for example, if I take A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, what will be the characteristic equation? This characteristic equation is also denoted by C lambda. I know that it is lambda square. Here I'm going to write the trace. The trace is 1 plus 4 coefficient of lambda plus here I'm going to write the determinant. What is the determinant of this matrix? It is 4 into 1 minus 3 into 2, 6, which is minus 2. So this means the characteristic polynomial of this particular matrix is quickly given by lambda square minus 5 lambda minus 2 equal to 0. So this becomes a characteristic equation. And now one can find the roots and you can get the eigenvalues of the matrix. Okay. Okay. Now what we will do is we have understood how to find the eigenvalues of the matrix. Now let us take the same problem and let us find its eigenvectors. So A is this. This is lambda A minus A. I have factorized the characteristic polynomial and I've got the eigenvalues of as 4 and minus 1. Let me label those eigenvalues. Lambda 1 is 4 and lambda 2 is minus 1. Now let us go for eigenvector corresponding to first eigenvalue that is lambda 1 equal to 4. So what I will do is I will first write what is lambda i minus a what is lambda i minus a equal to now we know that lambda i minus a came up to be how much it it is lambda minus one this we have written above lambda minus one lambda minus two minus two and minus three so this is lambda i minus a now here i will put lambda equal to lambda one so what is lambda one so i'm going to replace lambda by lambda 1. Who is lambda 1? Lambda 1 is 4. Means I'm going to do what? I'm going to write 4i minus a. So wherever there is lambda, just replace it by, just replace it by 4. So this will be 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and 4 minus 2. Okay. This is 3 minus 2 minus 3 and 2. And now we will reduce this to the echelon form. You know the echelon form. We try to make the bottom most rows to be zero. So when I replace R2 by R2 plus R1, so I'm going to add the second row and the third row. It will be equal to 3 minus 2, 0 and 0. So we have got this form. And here I see that X is the leading variable and Y becomes the free variable. So y is free and x is the leading variable. So this means that and I'm going to equate it to zero. OK, I'm going to get the so I will let y equal to t where t is a real number. And what is the equation that I will get from the first row? The equation that I will get from the first row is 3x minus 2y equal to zero. And therefore, 3x is equal to 2t because y is t, and therefore, x is equal to 2 upon 3t. So I've got the value of x, and I've got the value of y, and therefore, my eigenvector, the first eigenvector v bar, will be x and y, which is given by 2 by 3t and t. Let me take out the fractional part outside. If I take the, take out the t common, I will get 2 by 3 and 1. But still, I don't want that fractional 2 by 3. So I will pull out 1 by 3 outside 
and t is also out fine so i will get a 2 here and here i will get a 3 because 3 and 1 by 3 will cancel me to give 1 so eventually what vector v1 bar we will choose is the first vector we will choose to be 2 3 so this vector v bar is called eigen vector of which for which for for which lambda is this uh, eigenvector for the first eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to 4 okay let us go for the second eigenvector the second eigenvalue was minus 1 so we will get lambda i minus a will be replaced by what what is the value of lambda that i'm going to put i'm going to put minus 1 minus 1 i minus a so when i do that what is minus 1 i minus a you know that what is lambda i minus a what was lambda i minus a there i'm going to put minus 1 everywhere okay let me just scroll up here here i'm going to put lambda equal to what here i'm going to put lambda equal to minus 1 right so when you do that i will get here minus 1 minus 1 will become minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 and when i'm good, going to put lambda equal to minus 1 i'm going to get minus 3 so i'm going to get minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 let me write it down there minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 so this is what i'm getting when i put lambda equal to minus one in the above steps so this is equivalent to i'll just remove all the minus signs then i will just divide the first row by two and the second row also by two so i'll get one 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 and then i will do r2 will be replaced by what r2 minus r1 so this will become one one zero zero and here I see that the second variable y is free and x becomes the leading variable. So x is leading and y is free. So I will put y equal to t where t is a real number. And the equation that I will get from the first row will be x plus y equal to 0. And therefore x is equal to minus y and y is t so x is equal to minus t and therefore the second vector that i will have to choose from x comma y will be minus t t and when i take a t common i will get minus one one you can also take the minus t common also if you take t common also or minus t common it will not make a difference so here your eigenvector v2 can be chosen as what minus 1 1 if you take out a minus t common in that case your eigenvector will be just become 1 minus 1 okay which is not a wrong thing for you so here this is an eigenvector for corresponding to which eigenvalue corresponding to eigenvalue lambda 2 equal to minus 1 okay so let me recollect what was the first eigenvalue the first eigenvalue so the spectrum was what it was 4 and minus 1 and what is a set of eigenvectors the set of eigenvectors is for the first eigenvalue it was i suppose it was 3 2 right it was 2 3 sorry it's 2 3 Two, three and this for so the second eigenvector is this okay so this is a set of eigenvalues and eigenvectors okay let's take the next question so let a be equal to three minus one 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 let us find the eigenvalue then eigenvectors now in this problem we will see that 
will happen if the eigenvalues turn up to be the same number in the above problem you see the eigenvalues were 4 and minus 1 that is why we got two different eigenvectors now in this problem we will have the eigenvalue repeated eigenvalue we we'll have two eigenvalues which are same so what is lambda i minus a which is uh, equal to lambda minus 3 lambda minus 1 then minus 1 will become plus 1 and minus 1 so when I simplify and when I take the characteristic polynomial the characteristic polynomial is determinant of lambda i minus a which is equal to lambda minus 3 into lambda minus 1 minus plus 1 and this will simplify to be how much we know the shortcut also what will the simplification become this will become lambda squared minus trace of a what is trace of a it is 4 lambda plus determinant of a equal to 0 equal to 0 this is equal to 3 plus 1 will become 4 so we'll get lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 equal to 0 and when I factorize this what will happen we'll get lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 and therefore lambda is equal to 2 comma 2 so both uh, eigenvalues are the same which is said to be repeated eigenvalues now we will calculate now we will again look into what is lambda i minus a what was lambda i minus a it was lambda minus 3 1 minus 1 and lambda minus 1 okay this with this we have written above also and let me put lambda equal to 2 here because both the eigenvalues are same so if i put lambda equal to a 2 here i will get 2i minus a will be equal to how much 2 minus 3 1 then uh, minus minus 1 and 2 minus 1 and this will become minus 1 1 minus 1 and 1 and i want to make an zero rows at the end so r2 will be replaced by r2 minus r1 so automatically the last row will become zero and i will get a minus one and a one here again i see that y is a free variable and uh, x becomes the leading variable and therefore i can put uh, y equal to t and what is the equation from the, the t is a real number what is the equation that I get from the first row? The equation I get is minus x plus y is equal to 0. And therefore, x is equal to y and y is equal to t. So eventually, I get x is equal to t and y equal to t. Both are t. My eigenvector here in this case becomes what? It is x comma y, which is t comma t. And when I take a t out, I'll get 1 comma one where t is a real number so i can choose here eigenvector is equal to how much one comma one so in this problem my spectrum a means the set of all eigenvalues of a is two two okay which is actually singleton set right and what is the collection of all the eigenvectors the collection of all eigenvectors i got only one eigenvector in this particular problem and who is that eigenvector the eigenvector is what it is a single a singleton set again which with with the vector 1 comma 1 in it okay so now we will uh, study matrices which are having complex eigenvalues so let us take one example so let a be equal to 0 1 minus 4 0 and i'm going to calculate the characteristic polynomial so I'm going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So the characteristic polynomial C lambda is equal to lambda square minus the trace is 0 lambda plus the determinant is 4 which is equal to 0. So lambda square plus 4 is equal to 0 and therefore lambda is equal to plus minus 2i. So these are the two eigenvalues of the matrix. Now we will calculate a minus lambda i which is lambda 1i so i will say lambda 1 is 2i 
which is a minus 2i into the identity matrix which is 0 1 minus 4 0 minus 2i which is on the diagonal when I subtract them I will get minus 2i 1 minus 4 and minus 2i okay now what will I try to do is I will try to make this entry I try to make this entry 2i so that minus 2 and plus 2i will become 0 so how will I make it 2i so first of all I will divide the second row by 2 when I divide the second row by 2 it will become my let me divide it by minus 2 so it will become minus 2i 1 and 2 and i so this will be the now we'll multiply the second row by i so when I do that I'll get minus 2i 1 2i and minus 1 i square is minus 1 now you see you can add the second row and the first row so that you will get the last row equal to 0 so which is minus 2i 1 0 and this also has automatically become 0 okay now we will identify what is the free variable and the leading variable so obviously you see that here uh, x is leading variable and y is a free variable so x is leading and y is free so if y is free i will say let y be equal to t where t is some real number okay and the equation that i get from the first line is first row is minus 2i x plus y equal to 0 and this 2i x is equal to y and therefore x is equal to y upon 2i which is t upon 2y okay now when I write a vector x comma y I will get x is t upon 2y and y is t so what I will try to simplify it is I will just take t upon 2y just come from the entire vector I will get 1 and I will get a 2y over here so the eigenvector that I will choose for 2y the first lambda one will be 1 and 2i for the eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to 2i okay now let us go for the second eigenvalue the second eigenvalue is minus 2i so for that when I do a minus lambda 2i which is equal to 0 1 minus 4 0 minus of minus will become plus 2i so it will become 2i and 2i on the diagonal get this as 2i 1 minus 4 2i okay now again my target here will be that i will try to make this person as minus 2i so that i can adjust the two rows so what will i do first i will first divide the second row by just 2 i will not divide it by minus 2 because i don't want to lose that minus sign so this will be minus 2 and this will be just i okay and now i can see i just multiply the second row by i so when i multiply it by i this will be 2i 1 minus 2i and i square is minus 1 automatically the second entry has adjusted and therefore r2 will be replaced by r2 plus r1 and therefore what will i get this will become equivalent to 2i 1 0 0 here again i see that x is leading and y is free so i will take y equal to t once i take y equal to t the equation that i will get from the first row is 2ix plus y equal to 0 so 2ix is equal to minus y which is minus t and therefore x is equal to minus t upon 2i okay and uh, this when I write in the form of x comma y this I will get minus t comma t upon 2i and t okay and I will just pull out a t common first of all okay, and minus t or 2i if I take full common this will just become 1 and this will become minus 2i so the second vector that I will choose as the eigenvector will be 1 minus 2i and what is lambda 2 lambda 2 is minus 2i so this is the eigenvalue and eigenvector 
So this means that the set of eigenvalues of A will become 2i and minus 2i. And what is what are the set of eigenvectors? The set of eigenvectors are the first eigenvector was 1, 2i, and the second eigenvector is 1 minus 2i. So what you observe from this exercise is that if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are conjugates means the eigenvalues are of the form a plus ib and a minus ib then if the first eigenvector is of the form s plus it and r plus i m then what will be the second eigenvalue the second second eigenvector it is the conjugate of that here one was real so it remained one but minus 2i on the conjugate of 2i is minus 2i okay so this means that whenever your eigenvalues are complex you just have to calculate one eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to a plus ib automatically the eigenvector for lambda 2 which is a minus ib will be just the conjugate of the first vector so you don't have to do this work two times now let us go for the next example uh, let me take one more example of this type so suppose i take a matrix a which is 4 1 minus 8 8 so we will calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix so the characteristic polynomial is lambda square minus trace of lambda is 12 and determinant is 32 plus 8 which is 40 so we'll get lambda square minus 12 lambda plus 40 is equal to 0 so when i write the eigenvalues which is plus 12 plus or minus p square minus 4 into 40 upon 2 which is equal to plus minus so this is 12 plus minus square root of minus 16 divided by 2 and therefore this when i take this 4i i will get and cancel the 2 i will get 6 plus minus 2i will become my eigenvalues lambda 1 and lambda 2. now when i calculate the eigenvector for lambda 1 say so suppose I consider lambda 1 i minus a, then this will become 6 plus 2i, 6 plus 2i, lambda 1 is 6 plus 2i minus matrix a, a was 4, 1, minus 8, 8, then I will get, this is 2 plus 2i, minus 1, minus 8, and minus 2 plus 2i okay so what will be my target now now my target will be i will try to make this person one so how can i make this person one first of all i will divide the second row by two so that this becomes simple two plus two i minus one minus four let me divide it by minus two so that uh, okay this is fine this is a plus eight Okay, so this will become sorry this will become 4 and this will become minus 1 pl plus i now how am i going to make this complex number into a real number i will multiply that by its conjugate so i'll multiply r2 by minus 1 minus i we know that minus 1 plus i and minus 1 minus i will multiply and give me 2 So this will be 2 plus 2i minus 1, 4 into minus 1 minus i. And this will just become 2. I remember our target was to make this 1. So we'll now divide the second row by 2 again. There are many ways you can do this. This is what I will follow usually, which will be minus 2 and minus 2i. And this will become 
one. So then I can add the second row with the first row so that this becomes zero overall in the second row. And this means that my y is leading variable. I'm sorry, y is a free variable and x is leading. So I will put y equal to t. When I put y equal to t, the equation that I will get from the first thing will be 2 plus 2ix plus y equal to 0. And therefore, my x will be equal to minus t upon this minus 1. So I get x equal to t upon 2 plus 2i. So my vector x comma y which is t upon 2 plus 2i and t if I pull out this entire thing outside I get a 1 and then get a 2 plus 2i. So the vector v1 that I will choose will be 1 upon 1 and 2 plus 2i for the eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to 6 plus 2i and therefore by the note we have seen above is that if lambda 2 is conjugate of that then you will get the eigenvector also as conjugate so v2 bar will be equal to 1 2 minus 2i so this is the set of eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the given matrix eight.